Welcome, my most amazing artists. I'm thrilled to bring you part two of our Jen Stark inspired drip drawing series, where we will continue our exploration into color theory. This video, we will dive into primary and secondary colors. The materials you'll need are a white piece of paper, pencil and eraser, black Sharpie, markers in a primary and secondary color scheme, and scissors. Now let's learn a little bit about the talented and colorful artist who inspired this, Jen Stark. Stark was born in Miami, Florida in 1983 and studied at the Maryland Institute College of Art, graduating in 2005. She now works and resides in Los Angeles, California, where she continues to explore the gravitational pull she has always felt toward color with dizzying psychedelic installations, 3D optic sculptures, and repetitive murals, dripping color, and trippy pattern paintings. Some of her prominent commissions range from Facebook's headquarters, Miami International Airport, the music set of Miley Cyrus's MTV Video Awards, and Demi Lovato's Los Angeles home. In recent years, Stark has collaborated with companies like Google, Vans, and Smashbox, cultivating a recognizable aesthetic that relies on science, color, and emotion. Jen is driven by her interest in nature, evolution, infinity, fractals, topographies, and sacred geometry, using materials including paper, wood, metal, glass, and paint. Stark strives to make her work that balances on a razor's edge of optical illusion. She said, my fascination with nature is deeply connected to the underlying mathematics of the universe, such as fractal imagery found in everything from tree branches to the crest of a wave and the shape of the galaxies. Jen is also inspired by color theory and how different colors react to each other. The mystery of rainbows and light spectrums. She is quoted as saying, I love how color can influence emotion and patterns that it can create and the tricks it can play on the eye. As her career has evolved and so has technology, her practices of creating have also evolved. She's always been interested in pushing boundaries and capacities of her own expression. She's learned how to apply what she knows in the two-dimensional and three-dimensional art world to digital work, including NFTs. Jen's work is incredibly captivating and she believes art is for everyone. She's quoted as saying, I'd like people to feel joy when experiencing my work and I hope it inspires people to pursue their own passions in life. At the heart of color theory is the color wheel, which was created by Sir Isaac Newton. In color theory, colors are organized on a color wheel, allowing color relationships to be represented geometrically and grouped in three categories, primary, secondary, and tertiary colors. The primary colors are the building blocks of color theory. The three primary colors are the original parents of all other colors. You can find the primary colors on the color wheel on each end of it, equally distanced from one another. Now let's take a look at what our three primary colors are, red, yellow, and blue. Secondary colors are made by mixing equal parts of two primary colors. They're called secondary colors because they're derived directly and exclusively from the primary colors. Secondary colors are easy to find on the color wheel. They're equidistant between the primary colors. Now let's take a look at our secondary colors, purple, orange, and green. Primary colors are the foundation of color mixing. So when you mix two primaries like blue and yellow, you get green. Red and yellow makes orange and red and blue together make purple. It's time to grab your eraser and pencil and your piece of paper. We are going to divide our paper into two sections, one where we display our primary colors and the other where we display our secondary colors. You're going to start by drawing drippy, wavy, rhythmic movement lines 
up and down. until you've created a section that you see fit about halfway. Connecting another section of drippy wavy lines going from left to right till you hit the edge of your paper. Those are going to be for our primary and secondary colors. Now below those two sections, we're gonna create two smaller sections for our black and white contrast. Again, just drawing our lines, wavy, organic, up and down, however big or small you would like as the artist. And one last small section. Next, grab your black Sharpie and trace those beautiful dripping lines that you just drew. We want to provide a little contrast before we draw our other lines so that we don't get confused as to where each section started and ended. Feel free to grab your eraser and erase any pencil marks that are still showing through. Next, grab your pencil, and we are essentially just going to copy those lines that we just drew or mimic them. So you're just going to go up and down in that rhythmic motion, creating that beautiful sense of movement and pattern throughout each section. Take your time, go nice and slow. Next, grab your black Sharpie again and trace over the original line that you drew. We want this line to be thicker and bolder, really emphasizing that this part is where our drips start and end, creating an individual section. Next, go in with your Sharpie and trace over all of those beautiful pattern rhythmic lines that you drew, emphasizing each of those beautiful little drips. Grab your eraser and erase any pencil marks that are still showing through. Next, think about which section you want to color your primaries and which one your secondaries. I'm going to begin with my primary colors. I'm going to start with red and color in nice and slowly inside the lines, focusing on my craftsmanship for my beautiful drip drawing. Continue coloring alternating between the three primary colors, red, yellow, and blue, creating this beautiful pattern as you color in this entire section of your drip drawing. Next, grab your secondary colors. We're gonna use this section for our secondary colors. You're going to start with your purple and work your way up with your orange and your green, alternating colors, creating a beautiful pattern of secondary colors.
Now grab your Sharpie. It's time to color in our black and white section at the bottom. Skip the first set of lines and start by coloring in the second set of lines. By creating this black and white bottom portion, we're creating visual interest and contrast in our composition. It really makes the colors at the top pop. Now that you've finished coloring your beautiful drip drawing, it's time to cut out the bottom edge. Take your time cutting around the outer lines. It's always better to leave a little extra white that you can fix than accidentally cutting into your black border. Now you can grab your Sharpie and begin to color in any little white areas that are still showing through. This will give you a new perfect outline. Well done, my most amazing artist. I hope you enjoyed learning about the incredibly talented and colorful artist, Jen Stark, as we focused on primary and secondary colors in this beautiful drip drawing full of movement. If you enjoyed part two of the series, come back as we explore complementary colors and create another drip drawing to add to your collection. And please consider liking and subscribing, and don't forget to turn on those notifications. I can't wait to create with you again very soon.